Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Linux Mint inside a virtual box on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Before installing the Linux Mint on your Windows virtual box, there are a few things that needs to be noted. These are the minimum requirements that are needed to install the Linux Mint on your virtual box. Minimum 2 GB of RAM is required and 4 GB is recommended. Minimum 20 GB of disk space is required and 100 GB is recommended. At least two CPU core are required. You need to download the Linux Mint ISO file, which I will be showing you in the video. And the main thing, the virtual box. I will show you how to install this virtual box in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install the virtual box. To install the virtual box, first open your favorite browser and type virtual box in the search bar. Now, open the first link, the Oracle Virtual Box. Click on the download button present on the top menu bar. Here you will see different options for different operating systems. As I am showing on the Windows, I will be using the Windows option. Click on the Windows Host option to download the Virtual Box installer. I have already downloaded the Virtual Box installer, so I am canceling this step. Once it is installed, open the File Explorer and go to the location where it is installed. Now double click on the installer. Now click on the next button in the welcome page. Now accept the terms and conditions and click on the next button. Here, I am not changing anything. I am leaving this as default. If you want, you can change the location. Once everything is set, click on the next. It will showing you a warning, click on yes. Again, click on the yes. Again, I am not changing anything. Click on the next. Click on install. It will take you a few minutes to complete the process. Once the installation process is finished, click on Finish button. Once the virtual box is installed, now it is time to download the Linux Mint ISO file. To do this, open your favorite browser and type Linux Mint. Now, click on the Download option. Here you will find different types of editions. One is Cinnamon Edition, the next one is XFCE Edition, and the last one is Mate Edition. For this video, I will be showing you the Cinnamon Edition. Click on the Download button. You can see that the ISO file is nearly 2.7 gigabytes. Download the ISO file using the mirror link that is from your country. Click on the link and download the file. As it is nearly 2.7 gigabytes, it takes some time to download the file. Once the file is downloaded, we need to install this on the virtual box. Double click on the virtual box to open. Once it opens, click on the new icon. Enter the name as per your preference. Change the location where you want to install this. Now, select ISO image and add the Linux Mint ISO image file to it. Check the box that says Skip Unattended Installation. Now, click on the hardware option and change the base memory to 4 GB. Change the processor to 2 or 3 as per your requirement. Click on the hard disk option and change the hard disk size. If your PC's RAM and hard disk space are low, you can keep these settings as default. Once everything is finished, click on the Finish button. Once everything is finished, click on the Linux Mint option and click on the Start button. Once the setup opens, select the Start Linux Mint using the arrow keys and press Enter. 
wait for some time to complete the process. Once the process completes, double-click on the Install Linux Mint icon. Once the setup opens, follow the steps. I am using the default settings. Select the language you want your operating system to install. I am using the English. Click on Continue. Select the keyboard layout you prefer and click on Continue. Check the Multimedia box if you want to install the Multimedia Codex. These codecs are required to play some video formats. Click on Continue. Click on the Erase Disk and click on Install Now button. Click on the Continue button again. Select the Time Zone and click on Continue. Enter the details like your name, computer's name, username, and password here. Once everything is done, click on the Continue button. The installation process will take at least half an hour to one hour. Once the installation process is completed, click on the Restart button. Wait for some time until the rebooting process is completed. Now enter the password you have created and press enter. You can see that it is successfully installed, but you probably might be wondering that even if we are present on the full screen, it is only showing the half screen. To fix this, you need to install some guest editions. To install the guest editions, click on the device and click on the insert guest editions. Now, click on the Run button to install these guest editions. Now, enter the password and click on the Authenticate button. Wait for some time until the process completes. Once the process is completed, press the Enter button. Now, click on the View option on the top bar and select the Full Screen Mode option. Now, click on the Switch option. You can see that it is now opened in Full Screen Mode successfully. This is how we successfully install the Linux Mint on the Virtual Box. If you like this video, then hit the Like button and Subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.